Hey guys, and welcome to Neat Video Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll tell you how to start using your Neat Video Denoiser in After Effects. Once you have downloaded and installed Neat Video, start After Effects. Neat Video should be available in the Effects and Preset menu. Let's say you are working on a project and one of the clips in that project requires some noise reduction. I'll use this clip as an example. To add Neat Video to the clip, go to Effects and Presets. Find Neat Video and drag and drop the Reduce Noise filter onto the clip. Now the effect is added to the clip, but noise reduction hasn't happened just yet. To make sure Neat Video receives the correct data, double check that After Effects viewer resolution is set to full. Also, disable fast previews. Just set this control to off final quality. The next step is to choose a frame within the clip that has both lots of noise and large featureless areas like sky. That will allow Neat Video to analyze and remove noise. Let's choose this one. Now click Prepare. Here in Neat Video's window, you can build a noise profile and change filter settings. But before proceeding to noise reduction, make sure Neat Video's optimized for your hardware. Go to Tools, Preferences, Performance. Here, click the Optimize Settings button and click Start. When this test finishes, Click the Accept Best Combination button. Also, check that this slider is moved to the green mark and click OK. And now we are set to clean this noisy clip. Click Auto Profile. Check that the area found by Auto Profile is completely flat and has no details. If there are some details, Manually choose a more suitable area and click Build Profile. Then switch to the Adjust and Preview tab. Here you can change some of these filter settings, but in many cases there is no need to do that. As you can see the result is already awesome. Here is noise and now it's gone. For now we just click Apply. That's pretty much it. Noise reduction is now applied to the clip. You may still need to render the whole clip to be able to play it back at full speed. New versions of After Effects may render it for you automatically. And that's it. For more advanced tips, make sure you watch our other tutorials. You should see the links to some of them on the screen and in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We'll be happy to help. And bye for now.